I'm Rakesh. Today in this video, we are going to learn uh, to create a basic calculator where customer will have a choice to select whether he wants to do addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. So as per the user choice, we have to build a calculator and as per the user input is going to do addition or subtraction or depending on the choice. So how to do that? So let's assign the task to our thinking bot. Okay, basic calculator design. Please watch till the end and please do like and subscribe to the channel. We will come up with more interesting videos. Let's get started. All right, so here we have created a demo. Let's, let me run this and show you how does this work. So it's asking for the first number, let's say I'm entering 10 and it's asking for the second number, I'm entering 22. So 10, 22, so and make a choice. Let's say I'm selecting addition and click on OK. So it's saying sum of two values is 32. So this is what we need to design. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, so very first thing is I will create a sequence. Sequence or flowchart, whichever you like, you can just create it. It's a simple programming. So I'll just use this one, basic calculator demo. And I'll click on create. All right. So now in this one, I want input dialog box. So one is for the first number, second one is for the second number, user input, first number, second number. And the third one is for the user choice, yes to choice. So the three input dialog box. So first thing, I'm going to leave the title blank uh, for the moment. You can just type it, otherwise leave it blank. So here I'll simply say enter first number and I'll use the second one and the second number and the third one is the slightly complex where I have to give the option to the customer right so what I will do I'll give an option so this is how you put the double braces and here so this is this is where I'll be giving he need to select the option okay plus four this is this choice is for the addition choice one after the choice one give a comma and the same thing you write for uh, the addition subtraction subtraction to make it quick and copy the code and this copy paste again this is follow the same format give a comma okay let me show you uh, so this has got plus you know within the double quotes you have to say plus addition and then cover whatever your choice is you can just write that okay this is what you have done and then should be closed by curly braces and there's no error you can see that so this one um, you know got created here so here i will say select your choice select your choice okay so let's uh, until now what we have done we have entered what are the details required to be corrected all i have to do is i have to create variables enter first number so once the value is passed that should get onto the variable let's say num1 okay and the second one should get into num2 okay again capital n all right and then the third one should be a choice so control k choice so remember guys once you set the variables using control plus k all you have to do is come to variable and here change it as needed so this to our integer type and the choice is a string type because it has got plus addition minus this is string type okay so the, all the three variables got created i'll minimize this all done all right so let's see that until now what has happened then we will proceed with the next programming how to design that calculation using a switch function so until now it's asking for the first number so let's say i'm entering the first number it's getting stored in num1 i'm entering the second number storing in num2 select your choice coming for from the third input dialog box okay if you select click on okay it should do the job okay so let's get get started with the next set of uh, activities that we have to drag so for this one for basic calculator what i will be using is there are multiple ways to do this guys but here i will use the switch function okay using switch we will learn how to do that so when customer is entering something that comes to the variable choice so in the expression all you have to do is write that variable choice 
okay so what about the, the variable so now the choice is a string type isn't it so all you have to do go here when you highlight so choice is a string type all right so here what i will do in the case value one these are the conditions i've added so ensure this exactly matches there should not be a space or a comma exactly how you have written the same thing you need to copy and in the case value you have to paste it over here okay okay plus addition uh, is not a valid value for integer 32 so that means what happening the moment you click on switch here on the type argument uh, it is saying integer 32 type right so you have to change that to okay so you cannot do this until unless you delete this value for the first time and the first thing you have to do is change to string type okay so once you do that if you paste the value now you can see there is no problem there is no problem okay now same thing i have to do for the case 2 and then we will add the programming okay so uh, let me show you for the addition what to do so what i will do i will drag and drop the message box okay and here in the message box i will say the sum right so i will say the sum of two numbers is okay and here i will say uh, plus sign give a plus sign and i'll be using those two variables so first variable is num1 plus num2 okay and here these are integer and message box is a string type so all I have to do is dot just by using the plus sign the job you know it will do the sum of both the integer values okay the error is gone now if you see it here all I have done is in the addition box here I have written the number okay the same thing I have to do a copy paste just I have to slightly change the uh, symbols okay so what I will do here I am going to use the subtraction value and here I will put okay subtraction and below that I need to write the case isn't it so subtraction here again I will copy paste this same message box so that I don't have to completely write it all I have to do is here I will say subtract the subtract the subtracted value of two numbers is so here instead of num plus I will replace that with a minus okay simple job is done okay now the same thing I will do it for multiplication right so multiplication okay and another case I will add and here also I will copy paste the message box go to multiplication and here instead of subtracted value I will say multiplied value okay multi flat value of two numbers is num into so put a star for this okay so this way it will multiply now the last one remaining last one is division so again remember guys exactly how you have written in the input dialog box the same thing you have to copy okay so here in the input dialog box we have written okay the same way you have to copy it either from here or copy it to a notepad and copy it from there whichever way you like but ensure you know it's exactly the way it is written there okay so division otherwise will not function if it is not functioning that is the cause um, again i'll copy paste here instead of multiplied i will say division or divided value okay divided value of two numbers is num here i will use the division symbol right so that's all guys the programming is done let's run it and see how this is functioning all right let's see the beautiful basic calculator uh, enter first number let's say i'm entering 10 and let's say i'm entering let's say 2 and let me select uh, let's say addition click on okay it's saying okay so what happened the value did not show reason what is the reason uh, the sum of two numbers num1 num2 okay guys so multiple times i said uh, the problem could occur this is only simply because of you know exactly how it, it is typed if it is not typed in the same way so all you do is come over here copy it again okay close this go over here here in the just remove this and paste it so let's see that if it is working fine now okay this errors has, are, are good during the demo because that is how you learn so enter first number let's say 10 
and the second number is let's say 20 so it should show me the addition so it's saying the sum of two numbers is 30 now right so it worked now so this is how uh, only thing you have to ensure guys uh, whatever you have written in the choice right uh, because the string it has to exactly pass the same way okay so that is where it will work so let me run one once again let me say let's say let's say let's say let me select division this time okay let's say 20 and the second number is let's say 5 so 20 divided by 5 and here i'll select div division okay the divided value of two number is four okay so this is how you have to work so the so let's recap what are the things we have done first we have taken the input dialog box and the value got passed to the variable num1 second one we asked for the second number that value got passed to the num2 variable and in the third one um, you know we have asked the choice to be made by the customer this is the code we have written and the fourth stage what we have done we have used the switch function and we have written the variable over here and then here as per the choice that we have it here in this window this choices we have just copied and pasted one by one and in the message box we have written the code to do a multiplication addition subtractions and things of all that is there as a choice right this is what we have done and this is how the basic calculator is created so thank you guys for watching this please do do not forget to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you very much you have a wonderful day